For some people, the thought of donating blood or bone marrow, it sounds scary, but knowing that you've saved someone's life by doing so, it's pretty rewarding. Back in November, I featured Kylie's kid, Zach. When he was just two weeks old, he suffered from kidney failure. At 11 months old, he had his first kidney transplant. By the time he was 11, he had already gone through more than 60 surgeries, including another kidney transplant, which his mom actually took part in a transplant chain to make happen. So joining me now, we have Zach and his mom, Stacy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, first, so we've got to talk about why you're in the wheelchair right now because this is actually unrelated to any of the problems that you've had with your kidney. So, Mom, what happened? It was a trampoline accident, oh. kind of a freak accident. You don't wish on anybody. No, absolutely not. You feeling yeah. okay? How you doing? Um, I'm doing great. You're doing great? Good. I love the positive spirit, and hopefully we'll get you back up and walking again soon. But I know that you, this kidney transplant, there are two of them, mm -hmm. and a lot of times Zach has been saved by blood bone marrow transplants. So you, for the last five years, put together a drive. Tell me about it. Yes, I have. For the last five years, this is our fifth annual blood drive, and um, we have collected 248 units of blood. So wow. 744 people have been saved with our blood drive. That's amazing. We also do a bone marrow drive too from the registry mm -hmm. and we have people come in and we just swab their cheek and we put them in the bone marrow registry and um, we have had 98 people come forward in the last four years. Amazing and all from the drive that you've been doing. Tell me about yes. why it's so important because I understand that even this last time in the hospital Zach's blood wasn't there. There wasn't a match. No, um, this last time he with the freak accident he had a compound fracture. Mm -hmm. So his bones kind of popped out a little bit out of the skin, so he lost a lot of blood, which was really, really scary. And he has a rare blood type. Um, he's got anti-JK antigens and red blood cells, so it's really hard to find his blood, mm -hmm. and it's scary because they didn't have it there when he had his surgery. And that's why drives like this, they're so important. Yes. And I know that it sounds a little bit scary. People are like, oh, I don't know if I want to get you know, poked with the needle. But for the blood drive, it's actually you're going there, you're donating the blood, mm -hmm. but then the bone marrow, you say you just, just a quick swab. Yeah, the bone marrow is a quick swab and you're, you fill out a couple forms and you're in and out. So you have a pretty good following on Facebook. It's about 10,000 people. Zach, they're all kind of following, watching your story. Is that cool to see? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It is. I mean, 10,000 really people. Cool. And yeah. you say that a lot of them come to the drives and you actually get a chance to meet them. Yeah, and it's actually really neat to meet a lot of his followers that come to the drive. What does it mean to you to know that so many people are coming forward and are doing, taking part in this drive? Because you never know when the next thing could be around the corner, whether it's a trampoline accident or mm -hmm. Zach could actually need another kidney someday. It really means a lot to us because sitting here as a parent, we feel helpless. Like we can't do anything to save him. I've done as much as I can on my part and we, we count on the community to help um, come forward to donate blood and we like to promote organ donation too because mm -hmm. without his transplant, he would not be here today. Amazing. And without all the blood um, donations that, he, that he's had, he would not be here today. All right, let's give you the information so that you can join them at the fifth annual Blood and Bone Marrow Drive. This is an honoree of Zachary. It is this Thursday at the Andover Community Center at the YMCA. It goes from 1230 until 630 that night. And of course, we put all of that information online for you as well. Stacy and Zach, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. We hope you're feeling better again soon. <laughs> thanks for having us. For the fifth year, a Twin Cities family is hosting a blood and bone marrow drive, and it is in honor of their son. So back in November, I featured Zach and Kylie's kid. He's had more than 60 surgeries throughout his life, including two for a new organ. Both mom and dad, they have donated their kidneys to Zach. In fact, mom actually did it in a transplant chain. We have mom Stacy and Zach with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Zach, you've had a couple of health issues throughout your lifetime, but this is totally unrelated. Mom, what happened? Um, Zachary broke both his legs in a oh. trampoline accident. Jeez. It was kind of a freak accident. He had a compound fracture. Um, he's had uh, surgery on it to place this uh, fixator. It's going to be on for about six to eight weeks. We're not really oh. sure, kind of depending on how fast he heals. And you, this time around, you actually needed to get more blood because it sounds like you lost a lot of blood when this happened. Yeah, we had a big scare. He didn't need a, bl a blood transfusion this yeah. time, but it was a big scare because he lost a lot of blood and they didn't have his blood at the hospital. Zach, how are you feeling now? Feeling very good. Good. I'm so <laughs> glad to hear that. It was. I, I follow you on Facebook and I was like, oh no, because tell me a little bit about Zach's health problems in general because he actually was born and almost immediately went into kidney failure. Yep. When he was two weeks old, we mm -hmm. found out that he was in kidney failure. Um, he had his first transplant when he was 11 months old. 
his dad donated the first kidney and then he had a second transplant when he was eight years old and I was in the kidney paired exchange. So I donated my kidney to a complete stranger to get him a kidney. Tell me what role blood and bone marrow transplants have played in Zach's recovery because it saved his life a couple of times. Um, he's had multiple blood transfusions throughout his life before and after his kidney transplant and during our journey we met many, many families that have had bone marrow transplants. So we decided to add the bone marrow onto our blood donations. In this drive, you've done it for five years now, and what's really interesting was you actually know how many lives have been <laughs> saved just from your drive. Yep, we've had, um, we've collected 248 units of blood, mm -hmm. which we have saved about 744 lives for blood donation and the bone marrow. We have had 98 people come forward to um, join our bone marrow registry. I love your Facebook page. It's got a big following, right around 10,000 people. Yep. You actually get to meet so many of them when they yeah, all come out it, for the drive. Yeah, it's pretty exciting because a lot of people do come to the drives. And, you know, it's nice to put a face with a name. Absolutely. Okay, yep. let's give you the information so that you can come out and donate blood, get swamped for that bone marrow. And it is at 1230 to 630. It's this Thursday at the Andover YMCA. And so that is Thursday, May 12th. And I love this, Stacy. You and Zach have mm -hmm. made... These really cool...